Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for a new LEGO project. Today we have a new military aircraft, the Eurofighter Typhoon. As always, I would like to remind you that you can find the download the file, so this file in the description of the video, and that if you want to know how I design my projects, I'm uh, making video lives during the week on Tuesday and on Thursday that you can check to know how I design them. Moreover, a last thing before uh, starting with the video review of this project, on uh, Monday you will find a contest on my Instagram page, so follow me also on Instagram, where we make a contest or a competition where you can win one of my LEGO project files. You can choose any of them, the one you prefer. So also this one if you want. Say that, I think we can start with the video review of the Eurofighter. This aircraft has uh, many features and I will show you all of them little by little. I think we can start from uh, the aircraft itself and then later we can check also the weapons. We can start from the nose. We have uh, the front canards that can be moved. So you can move them. Sorry a second, as I waste the program. Okay, so you can uh, rotate them both of them of course here we have the IRST then we can find the cockpit to open the cockpit you have just to disconnect this part and you can open and close it so you can open and you reconnect the part when you want to close here if we make it transparent we can check better the cockpit inside the green parts for who is new on the channel are parts that usually you can't actually see. In uh, this way you can change them with any color you already have or you can find at a cheaper price. Uh, here there should be a computer, now it's missing but you can find it in the renderings. Here there is another computer, the, the control bar, the control stick and here we have the HUD and of course we have the space for the minifigure. Maybe we can add him here we can find um, Larry, yes, his, uh, his name is Larry and we can take Larry inside the aircraft because the aircraft as always is in minifigure scale. Now just go away Larry, we don't need you anymore. Close the cockpit, close the cockpit and close here. Then on the back we have the air brake that you can of course open we have the air brake uh, we can leave it open a beacon light then here we have the tail uh, the tail can of course move as well so we can move left and right here we have another beacon light on the top then we have the engines here they are in red but you can remove them if you don't like it uh, the engines can be uh, moved as well. You can open and close them if you want. Now, it takes a little more time to open all of them, but just to make you understand, you can open all of them and close all of them if you want. And what else on the top? Before continuing on the down part, yes, we have the uh, here on the sides. Uh, two different parts and different colors uh, other beacon lights green for the right red for the left and I think we can continue with the bottom remove the weapons again again we don't need them now uh, continue with the bottom here we have the iron takes as you can see it took a lot of time <laughs> Uh, make it making the iron takes for who watched the live video know uh, how much time we needed to design it 
but I think the final result is very good, I really love it. Then we have the landing gears and I think for the landing gears is better to rotate the aircraft. Uh, before the landing gears I forgot we have of course on the wings moving parts as well, so you can move them as well here and also the other one here okay <laughs> it's a little crazy the program but you can move them of course you can do the same also on the other wing now we can rotate it so i can show you both the landing gear and then actually also the weapons so for the landing gears we have the front landing gear with a light here uh, if you don't like it you can remove the light green parts are usually not uh, easy to see so you can change them with any color for the landing gear we can of course close them so you can close the landing gear inside here and then we can close also this part boom and disappeared for the back landing gear we have first to rotate this section here so you have to disconnect the section and rotate it Unfortunately with Lego uh, it was difficult to avoid this part, we needed to add the rotation of the landing gears. Then you can close them, one here and one here, okie dokie. And then at the end you can finally also close this section here, one here and the other one here. perfect and of course you do the same with these other wait, wait what happened sometimes it's crazy and the same here then we have the pylons for the weapons this one has 14 pylons so we have one two three and four uh, on the on the wing so four here and four here there are eight then we have nine 10, 11, 12 and 13. So we have 13 pylons for the weapons. We can check the weapons. Here I made many of them. For now, Larry, we don't need you anymore. I tried to make the whole arsenal, but if you want, you can also check the other aircraft I made in the past for more weapons. Here I tried to make, maybe you can recognize some of them. This one is a AAM 120 Amram. This one is uh, an Azram. Then we have the IM-9 Sidewinder. This one, I think, is the most famous. This one is an Iris T. Then we have a targeting pod. On this uh, side, I made this one is a long-range cruise missile with wings. So you can open the wings of this one. Now I show you how it works. Yes, it works like that. Uh, so you can open the wings. This one actually is uh, the basic design for many of them. You can, it can be a Taurus, a Scalp, a Storm Shadow. There are many of them with little difference. So it's just a long range cruise missile. Uh, here we have the little Brimstone, an AGM-65. This weird one, I'm not sure if you can recognize it because it was difficult to make, but is an AGM-88 Harm. Then we have the Mars anti-ship missile, a fuel tank for the more fuel. These two are the same kind of bomb, but actually I liked both the design, so you can choose the one you prefer, but actually is a Powerway 3 bombs, the GBU-24, Powerway 3. This one, uh, smaller, is the Powerway 4. Here we have a JDM, Joint Direct Attack Munition. Here on the top you can find the Spear 3 uh, missiles for uh, ground attack and then uh, dump bombs. These are simply bombs and with this you have a quite good armament I think that you can choose. And here in the renderings you can see many of them uh, mixed in a random order. So I didn't follow any kind of criteria here. So the payload probably is also impossible sometimes because you can't use all these missiles and bombs together as I did. But uh, it's just to make you see how they look uh, on the aircraft. Something I would like to make you notice is 
that of course both the bombs and everything you place here don't interfere with the landing gear so you can open it uh, as well as you can see you can still open everything both here and in this position as well see so as you can see you can open and close also uh, while landing so also on the ground and uh, i think that's all now you have seen all of it as always i would like to remind you to leave a like if you liked the video and the project it's always appreciated and to leave a comment and let me know uh, if you like the project what you didn't uh, what you want to see next and remember on tuesday and thursday we will make video lives where we build together the next project and you can give me uh, advice suggestions uh, considerations for the next project and so on say so that see you again during the live videos or next week on saturday with another official video bye